Hello, this is T Chapman 500. Welcome back to another track review video for NASCAR Racing 03. Today we're going to be taking a look at Sonoma 2013. Now I think that this was made by the last, by the developer of the track in the last video. And this developer has tools necessary to utilize the 3D object features that NASCAR Racing 03 supports such as having some objects at minimum detail, like this um, pit-out light, and these custom cranes. I've also seen this track at full detail, but I can't do it because of issues with boot camp. Nice ferris wheel, but I think that really shouldn't be visible at minimum detail level. By the way, texture detail level is at maximum. So let's go out for a drive, and that bridge is out of place. Now at maximum detail level, you can see the entire bridge. At minimum detail level, it would be nice if we didn't see any of it. Now I can never get this corner right. I think I missed... well... I went slow around that corner so that I wouldn't um, crash into the wall. Went in a bit shallow on that one. This track does look empty when um, nothing's on it. Still enter shallow on that one. I always do that for some reason. And always on this simulator specifically. NASCAR Sim Racing, I don't have a problem with it. In fact, in NASCAR Sim Racing, I have a 117 lap time, I think. So let's not scuff the tires on this set of corners. Let's also not overshoot this corner. Let's not spin out. This track seems to have a little bit more grip than the default Sonoma track that this game has. And I scuffed my tires off that corner. Scuffed the tires a little bit on the downshift there. And that was a very bad lap. Alright, so, um... One thing to note about this track is that... Uh oh Alright, so... It appears that the custom textures on this track have a... better quality than the last track. Of course, I'd like to see on the other side of that wall, which we can do in a moment. So the MIP biases, or um, actually not biases, but the MIP priorities seem to be pretty good. Let's get on the other side of this wall. Alright. So the MIP priorities, except for that outfield object, seem to be pretty good. However, that Outfield object doesn't ri Um, what I hit? Oh, guess I hit an invisible wall. Um, okay, let's, um... Go hunt for custom textures. 
don't see any other than that safer bear. I mean, the tire wall. And of course, the rumble strips, which have a. which appear to have a decent MIP priority level. The track geometry. Well, at least if you were to view the track from the overhead, the track geometry actually matches that of the real-life track. I do not know about the elevation of this track because I do not have a laser scan reference to go by. And I don't know if this is laser scanned or probably from some satellite data. Which, um, oh, let's go through here. And I've actually had other tracks with an attempt to at least render that infield area, but still kept it as grass. The simulator and this, the developer of this track did a good job making sure that that was actually pavement. Ooh, let's go in here. So, um... Yeah, this is pretty good at minimum detail. All the objects you expect to see at minimum are visible. And I guess that'll be it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do that by hitting the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of every video I upload, then hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Oh. How come that thing... <laughs> Alright, the pit boxes are marked. Haven't actually noticed that. And I was missing the mark by quite a bit. Anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, um, and you can also support this channel on Patreon, and I hope to be doing more of these track review videos for other simulators, as well as modding videos for games that I own, mod review videos for games that I own, and other types of videos, like that NASCAR Sim Racing Career Mode series that I stalled. Anyways, this is T Chapman 500 signing off.